Hello everyone, welcome to Be One Talk. My name is Edith Chalishkan. Today Hi. I will be your host with uh, Cenk. <laughs> Hello. Hello guys. Yeah, we are very excited for today's talk. Uh, there will be a live demo and we will be designing in Arcio together. By the way, you can ask your questions on YouTube comments anytime during the broadcast. We will be asking them for you. Our topic is Get Hands On With Your BIM Collaborative Design with Arcio. Our guests, guests are Hilmar Gunnarsson, founder and CEO of the company, and Johan Hanigura, co-founder and head of product of Arcio. Now they will be on the screen. Hello, guys. Hello. Hi, guys. Good to see you. <laughs> Good to see you. Hello. Yes, it's great to have you. Uh, so can you introduce yourself very briefly? Sure. My name is Hilma Gunnarsson. I'm the founder and CEO of, uh, of Arkeo. I've uh, been working on this product for uh, now more than four years. And we're super excited. We just launched version 1.0 this summer. Okay. Yep. My name is Johan Hanekat. I have a background in architecture. I joined the Arkeo team three years ago and um, focusing on the, the product of Arkeo and how it fits into the architecture world. Yeah, it's great. Thank you. Uh, um, what is Arcio actually? Let's dive into the topic directly. So um, Arcio is a new collaborative design tool for architecture that works across uh, VR, AR, uh, phones, tablets, and desktop PCs. And uh, maybe the best way just to, uh, to uh, explain it is to show you a very brief video uh, before we're going to dive into, into the live demo. OK, it would be great. <laughs> So let me try to share my screen here. Yeah. Um, here. And like this. Do you see the video playing now? Yeah, it's yeah. working. So with Arcio, you can model basically with your uh, own hands in VR. You can jump into human scale. Uh, you can move objects around and sculpt them basically as if you're sculpting physical building blocks. Um, you can easily jump into the scene, work with other people in real time. Here you can see Jan and me working on a design together. Um, everything's happening in real time as we're sculpting this building and placing uh, props and so on uh, on it. You can both work on exteriors and interiors. So you can work on any scale. Um, you can import models uh, from uh, Revit, from Rhino, from SketchUp, from BIM 360, and place them in the scene and work with them there. You can work uh, from tablets, from phones, so you don't really need to have a VR headset for all of this to work. Even in AR, and we'll give you an example of that uh, during the live demo. It's possible to create all kinds of interesting geometry uh, when you're working inside Arcio to create new uh, design options. And uh, when you're done working in Arcio, um, you can also just simply export your designs uh, back to uh, your favorite design tool, be it uh, Rhino, Revit, SketchUp, uh, etc. So that's kind of the highlights of what's possible. But um, it's much better to show you all this uh, in a live demo. So maybe you should just uh, jump into that. Yeah, it's yeah. great. I mean, even the video is quite exciting. I would like to see it. Good. Hello again. So, I, I somehow disconnected, but uh, reconnect again. Uh, sorry for that. So what you're going to do is uh, I will be using the uh, PC version of Arcio to show you uh, what that looks like uh, on my screen. And uh, Johan will be joining me inside VR and uh, explain some of the basics uh, of Arcio. And uh, of course, you know, feel free to join us there and uh, have a little bit of fun with us. So let me try to share my my Arcio screen. Okay. By the way, I and Jane already downloaded Arcio from the website. It's just yeah. a few minutes, and now we joined their uh, room. Let's say we are all together here. <laughs> all right. So um, here we are. Take it away, on. Hey. Can everyone see me move around? <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, uh, so when we are talking about Arcio, it's often good to talk a bit about the architectural process. So we're all familiar with working uh, with 3D models, and we often work on these 3D models on 2D screens. 
We now have technologies to step inside these models using virtual and augmented reality. But when we want to make a change to the design, we have to go back to our 2D screen, make the change and export things back to VR. Um, with ArcU, we want to reimagine what architectural design can be like when you're not bound by 2D screens, where you can use your hands to interact with that model, where you can uh, create new geometry on top of this model or carve into it and make adjustments by just pulling, uh, pushing in the model. And we see Archeo as a 3D tracing paper where you can load existing models from other design tools, make new su design suggestions on top of that model and load those back into the other tool. So we have integrations with Autodesk Revit, with Rhino, SketchUp and BIM 360. And it's a bi-directional uh, link that we have. So you can bring your models in from Revit, but you can also bring your Archeo creations back to any of these tools. So uh, like one of the key benefits of Archeo is that it works on any device. So I'm using a VR headset right now, but you can also join with other uh, devices like we'll show later. And that you can experience and collaborate on these models from any skill and together with uh, multiple people. So why don't you jump uh, over to the building next door and then show how all yep. this works? Actually, this is really great. I, I really like the product and how you present it. So Thank you. in one moment we are in the room and now we are looking bird view from the building. This is you, you guys can see everything, right? So yeah. Yeah. Yes. everything that right we're doing live. So this is a new way of presenting actually. <laughs> I never seen like this before. We honestly seen some architecture firms uh, use Archeo to present uh, you know new projects and win projects using Archeo like this. So it's definitely one of the main use cases we have. <laughs> so I'm now using the PC version as a set. Uh, you can see the toolbar that I have here up on the top of my screen. Uh, these are the same tools as Johan has in VR. And I can work with him on this model as he's working inside VR. I can open my create tool, for example, and let's say I want to plant a tree somewhere on the building. I just place it like this. You can see how that appeared. So Johan can see that all uh, on his end. If he is working on some geometry here, um, I can start to make edits to that uh, on my end. So as he's doing this, I can start to pull on these faces and he sees that happening on his end. <laughs> Are there any limitations of that? So maybe Johan do not want to edit his model. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We actually do have uh, a feature in Archeo mm -hmm. where I can be limited to be only a viewer uh, mm -hmm. and not be allowed uh, to do yeah. any edits. So that's <laughs> a part also what we do. But but so, the idea here is that uh, you can have any number of people, uh, well, at least up to 24 yeah. people get together in space like this and just create mm -hmm. a new design option, uh, present mm -hmm. design options. Um, just like he can be in any scale in the model, I can also jump into the model uh, in what we call human scale. Let's say I jump to this corner of the building, and now I see him working on this. This is great, actually. Here. So, so we can design together a building or anything with that? Yes, yes. Yeah. That, that, that's true. That's true. Great, actually. Video. We have it would be interesting to show a bit how it looks from VR, that we can show a bit the interactions. Yeah, why don't you do that? Uh, I'll stop sharing my screen and you can share yours. Yeah. Okay. Uh, somehow I disconnected from Arca because of the, my computer. Uh, AJ, if you... I'm still there. Okay, if you're available, you can share your screen. So, Johan, you go ahead and share your screen. I'm sharing the screen. Are you seeing it? Okay. Yes, okay. This, is right. ah, this is how we. Okay. Yes, this is how you perceive everything from <laughs> EVR. So no, you have no. two hands. And no, like everything that you do is, is with your hands. So I can just touch the geometry I want to move. So in this case, the, the top plane, and I can stretch it up like that. Or I can pick up this tree and move it on here or pick up the entire geometry like that. And most of the basic interactions we do with just touching the geometry, but we also have a small tool palette like that you can uh, enable to select and switch between the different tools that we have. And uh, for example, if I place, uh, let's just place a smaller tree over here, I can add some people on the roof here. 
And there's various tools that we have. Uh, it goes into too much depth to go through all of them. But the most important thing to show is that you can actually work and scale. So I can make this model 1 to 200 and just look around it. Uh, but I can also jump to the human skill right over here and look up and see how that design looks from here. And Hilmar can even join me. Uh, actually, I can invite everyone to cool. join me here behind me. Yes. So you guys will all be behind me. <laughs> and then from here, we can keep editing the model. So I can just pick up that point over there and keep stretching it uh, from this skill even. Mm -hmm. And I can move that uh, tree around by from a distance, or I can make myself a lot bigger, and then you guys would see me really picking up the geometry <laughs> like a physical model. Yes. That, it's really great. You you can work with different scales, and yes. there's there's no difficulty here. You can easily from go from one to another, and I think you can also take some notes. Here. Yeah, <laughs> I see right. someone <laughs> exactly <Yeah>. making notes. <laughs> should we move back to your screen, Nilmar? Is it, or should we yeah, let go me, there, uh, Revit and Rhino maybe a bit? Yeah. Um, why don't you so talk like, about uh, the, the Revit integration? Sorry, you yeah, have a yeah. question? No, I was going to ask, like, when you export it, is it going to be a mass Revit model? Like, how does yes. Work? So uh -huh. the, the models that we bring in, uh, they, they get bring in using our plugin, so you can export the designs as uh, as they are. Uh, to import, you get the option to uh, just pick a file. I think I'll see if I have this scene somewhere. Uh, not yet, so I need to quickly make an export. So let's just do that. I'm just going to export Maybe this. Like how long does it take to download or export the model to Arcure? Uh, th that depends on the size of the model because we do some optimization uh, on the rapid geometry, so we to make it more suitable for mobile devices. Uh, also, for the uh, like the scene that you bring in, it, it depends on the uh, yeah the size of the model that you bring in, how long this will take. So here I'm just uh, bringing in this model. This gives me the option to import either generic model or masses. Mm -hmm. uh, masses will combine all the uh, individual segments into a one solid geometry. Generic models gives you the individual objects that you work with. And what it does is everything that we see here in Arcio, every object that got placed, so for example, that tree or uh, like some of this geometry that got made, it gets converted to native Revit components uh, or Revit, Revit families. Mm -hmm. And this, this solid geometry over here will be converted to direct shapes in Revit. So you can directly keep working with that geometry. And, and this apartment that we have in here will all be included in there as well. So let's Do see you this. this actually, just a sec, oh, sorry to interrupt. There's a question yeah. about it. Will it be possible to export to other software, for example, ArchCAD? We always talk about you know, Revit and. So, so currently we have uh, the integrations that we have are uh, with Revit, Rhino, SketchUp, and BIM360. So I didn't add that one yet here. Uh, we are looking into other uh, tools as well. So that will be coming, uh, like if you keep an eye on our websites, <laughs> we'll give you an information about when that comes. Thank you. So I think this might take a while, the, the, the Revit to, to import. So I will just use the Rhino plugin quickly to show you. Mm -hmm. uh, Rhino does um, more. So we have two, two more questions. Yeah. Uh, let, let's ask it. Uh, this one comes from Salih Banja. Is Arcos performance only related with computer and internet? Does performance drop when large models are loaded? So can you, can you repeat the start of the question? Of course, of course. Is Arcus perform performance only related with computer and internet? Does performance drop when large models are loaded? Actually, you kind of uh, answered this question. Uh, it's, it's similar with mine. Yeah. Uh, I think it's it's com it, so since this is a software we downloaded. I think it's related with computer and internet, both of them. It's uh, it's mostly related to your hardware that you're running on because once the like what we do is like the session that we're in now, 
uh, like we, we see each other, we see what what's happening. Uh, if your internet connection is bad, it just make takes a while for the uh, the mm. geometry updates to continue. But the uh, once it's loaded, it's all in your process in your device. So based on the device that you're if you're using a smartphone, for example, or a portable Oculus Quest, one of these new wireless headsets, they don't mm. have that much power. So you cannot expect an entire city with BIM information <laughs> to be loaded in, in the smartphone. But you, if you have a pretty powerful PC, you can actually go pretty far in, in how much geometry you add in the scene. OK, thank you. So in the meantime, this one is exporting. And I think the Revit one is imported. So this is how mm -hmm. Revit geometry comes in. So we see the like the sketches that just got created. Ah, <laughs> we we have the uh, we have some some people in here. I think I hide the trees in this view. I need to turn on the the planting category. I think this the, the crowd of your podcast is pretty familiar with Revit, right? So they yeah exactly. Revit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> in Turkey, uh, Revit, all plan, Archicad, these are the main three softwares yeah. for BIM. And so, it, it, it really looks great. So we, we can see exact details here in Revit mm -hmm. also. So in one end, we can uh, decide to choose to detail in Revit when we come up with the concept model. Yeah. That, that's really great. So um, let me just change the shaded colors a bit. Then you see a bit better what's happening. So the, yeah. the props, the objects that we place, they get added as as native Revit objects, so they just convert it to RPC trees that are compatible with Enscape. I don't know if there's any Enscape users here, but we are compatible with that, and yeah. the people as well. The mm -hmm. furniture, once it's our Archeo furniture, we make our own. Uh, I think I also had the furniture in here. Let me just quickly turn mm -hmm. that on. You don't want to see us. So that Archeo furniture will be its own components as well. So own families uh, of, of Archeo objects. And uh, if you load in something custom, like for example, this Barcelona chair got loaded, it will convert it to a family with the mesh inside. So we cannot unfortunately do magic when the mesh came into Archeo, you cannot make it into a solid, but everything that is Archeo made is uh, proper Revit geometry. And we make everything in a family so you can continue selecting all the instances in your project and replace them by your own uh, components. Johan, if I missed something, if I start the concept uh, model yep. in Revit, so I can uh, export it uh, through the Arcure, then mm -hmm. I, I can also edit that model in Arcure, isn't it? I can pull. So the, the model, you can best see it as a, as a link, as an underlay. So we're making uh -huh. new new geometry on top of it so you're like based on where you're starting your sketch you're you're making up like geometry mm -hmm. or, or trees for example mm -hmm. but we cannot edit the right the geometry from rhino sketchup and Revit. Oh, we just draw on it and we draw that geometry will be loaded back to the other uh, applications okay okay i understood by the way yeah. we have another questions um how many people can join at once uh, you also, I think, answered that question, but it was yes, great. I think you yeah. can answer that one. And let me yeah. just so share. we uh, we have uh, tested this with up to twenty four people, um, and we can probably even go beyond that. But uh, at this point in time, that's kind of what we are promising to support. Um, and uh, many of those can obviously be uh, editing the model at the same time, and some people may just be viewing or any combination yeah. thereof. Mm -hmm. Um, I think we have another question. Aja, you would like to ask it? Okay. Aja is asking, working from home is no part of our life due to Corona. Has Archeo become more common during this period? That's a, that's a great question. And the answer yeah. is yes, uh, <laughs> for sure. I think uh, the, the, this pandemic has shown the value in being able to use tools like this to collaborate, no matter where you are. And we've seen some firms uh, start to use Archeo for exactly this purpose. And uh, one of the most interesting examples was when we worked with a firm in the US that used Archeo to pitch a major project to a client during uh, the pandemic. And everybody was just remote, 
looking at things through Zoom and we were in Archeo presenting design proposals and ultimately they won the project. <laughs> So this is quite impressive, yeah. actually. It, it, I mean, yes. from my perspective, also, uh, I mean, experienced architects are mostly having a hard time in using 3D softwares. I mean, they mm -hmm. sit next to juniors and make commands like push this, pull this, and that. Mm -hmm. I and mean, it's kind of so. annoying, actually. Now, I mean, they they can even uh, you know get more involved in the process. Absolutely. <laughs> Actually, new uh, new generation is all. They also know how to play a game and with those uh, sticks. But the old generation, good. just like me, I'm over than thirty <laughs> years old, and I, I, I always use these mouses so to design and the other things. This is a very different for us, but I, I really like the idea. And so, so we will get rid of all the mouses, keyboards, yes. and now we can use our hands. Just exactly. use your hands. Yeah, that, this is this is. Really, this, I think it, we we need that actually because now we use our pen and sketch paper to design something. Uh, mm -hmm. But now we have amazing technology. Uh, thanks to you guys, this is a really great product. Uh, I have another question for you. Uh, what what you are thinking about Arceus feature? Now we will see a brilliant opening here. But what about the future? What, if you, if it's not secret, can you share with us? So what we're expecting uh, in Arceus feature? So um, we just went live with version 1.0 uh, this summer, as I said. And uh, by the way, for everybody that's watching, you can go to rkeo.is and download it and just try it yourself mm -hmm. on whatever device you want to use, VR or phone, tablet or PC. Um, we will continue on the same path we have been on, which is to make Arkeo an even stronger part of the workflow as it is today, make it easier to work with the existing design tools, we want to make Arqueo even uh, more accessible and easier to use uh, because it's really the vision is that anybody should be able to use a tool like this. It shouldn't be difficult for people to jump in and start to move things around. Mm -hmm. And uh, we want to also enable you to create uh, buildings and geometry in Arqueo that is difficult to do with other design tools because in Arqueo, you can use your hands or these controllers. Mm -hmm. You can move around and at different scales. And that's just magical and when you can do that with other people in the same virtual space you know there's been nothing like that before that, that's really great yeah. um i'm also curious about the one thing this looks like this, this looks like this, uh we, and architects and maybe engineers will use this product but maybe the industrial design is, so you can also create some uh, more a smaller scale you can design a ring or a watch yeah, you so, can in, change in the so this, this, this has advantages for also that so you can put your uh, glasses and so i think it's it shouldn't be limited with the architecture side you can you have very uh, advantages uh, I, I think you're very correct and we have seen people from all kinds of interesting fields use archeo uh, including stage design uh, game design landscape yeah, design okay. Uh, we've even had uh, people that aren't professionals uh, let us know that they managed to design their house and renovate their kitchen inside Archeo and having never used 3D before. Yeah, they, they, it's, it's, uh, it's very easy for them. You, you're right, actually. Yeah. yeah to feel the space. Now. Uh, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, thank you uh, for uh, accepting our invitation and guest to our uh, BIM fleet. Um, yeah, we we covered were, many yeah. things in a short time. Really, thank you. Yeah, exactly. It was great. Exactly. We were uh, we, we we thought twenty minutes uh, will not be enough, but uh, it, it's very enough. Uh, and thank you again. Do you want to add another things uh, about Arqueo, or do you want to say anything? Uh, I think uh, the last thing from us is that we are um, just getting started on the journey. What we are doing is something that has, hasn't been tried before to do collaborative design like this in VR. So we would love to get uh, as much feedback as possible. Oh, so exactly. again, if people can uh, you know, try it out, let us know what they think through our forums or by sending us an email, that would be uh, greatly appreciated. We, we love hearing from users. That would be great. Uh, let's remind them you can uh, 
Guys, you can visit Arkeos website. You can download in the uh, Windows format or the other things you would like to try. Mm -hmm. It's very easy. It, it, you don't need very, very much time. It will be very quick. And you can start to play the buildings, play the forms. Um, uh, so if you have any comments about it, you can write through the, our YouTube channel. We can send directly to Gilmer and Johan. Uh, so I think they will also mm -hmm. answer that. And thank you again for this uh, for this broadcast yes, before you. before we end the broadcast uh, Hilmar and Ivan can you stay a little bit more so we can talk after the broadcast for 5 minutes uh, absolutely happy to okay. okay thank you guys we will see you in another uh, broadcast in the police series have a nice have a nice day <laughs> bye 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 everybody bye -bye.